Captain today for the old girl. Got a track bar from Thorn Thorn Fab, and um, of course we have to stick this sticker on the wall with all the rest of my stickers. But this will help the truck steer a lot better. Pretty excited about this part. I really just need bushings, but I wanted to get this because I heard good things about it. It's supposed to be really good quality. Even stock supposed to be a great improvement. We'll see how it does. So we just got a couple more things left on the Cummins here. Got um, front sway bar links. They should be here tomorrow. I have the bushings. The front axle shaft U-joint, I have that. And the TK outer seal, output seal, I need to get that still. And the track bushing. Uh, I have track bar bushings. I have the whole whole new track bar right here, but um, we're gonna get that on there now. It's got, uh, so it's a 21 on the front, on the bottom bolt, the top bolt, and then the back of the top bolt, it's a 24. And it's a little tight, the back of the top one. You should be able to get a wrench in there, but yeah, it might be a little tight. And then an impact on the front, it should work pretty good. Alright, there we go. Run both out. Uh, it should be just sitting there now. Alright, so now we gotta measure. Get it to the same length. Or not measure, but I'll lay it on top of it and get to the right length till the bolts. Slide down this and through there and line it up. Um, yeah, like that. I'll put the bolt in there. And it looks like it's damn near bang on already, but we'll see in a second here. That's a filthy thing. Got it lined up a little better here now. And um, it looks like it's a little long. If you look, the hole's not quite lining up there. So I'm gonna spin it in a couple times or maybe one to the seat. Whatever until it falls into place. Looks like still a bit more. I'd say maybe one more still a while. So as short as it'll go. I think that's pretty good there. So now I'll lock the lock nut down. Grease that grease fitting there. And she's ready to install. Well, got it on there. It was a little tougher than I expected. I had to um, use the steering to kind of move the axle side to side to line up the bolts. Just got to tighten it up a bit, and then, then that's a wrap. But, uh, yeah, if you turn the steering wheel to the right, it'll move the whole diff to the right, and that'll give you a little more room. And then if you turn it to the left, it'll kind of pull it in. It's tough to fit the... The heim joint into there, so I found the steering helped push it in because it's hard to get a hammer in there to hit it into place. So yeah, I found that helped a lot. All right, just finished tightening that up. Yeah, put some good torque on that, and um, that side goes in pretty easy. This one down here is a little tougher; it's a little tighter to get in there. And then the the nut in the back is on like a little flat piece of metal. And it's kind of hard to hold it in a little space and line it up at the end of the bolt. But uh, just kind of play around to get a light in there and, you, and you'll get it. But um, other than that, it's a pretty simple job. And hopefully that works good.